Gold traded to some new highs this week with some striking similarities to last year, says my guest today on Kiko's Gold Report, Gary Wagner of thegoldforecast.com is with me now. Gary, Happy New Year. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Happy belated New Year to everyone. So, Gary, you suggest that history may be repeating itself here in the gold market. Let's talk about how the gold market today is similar to what happened last year and what we can expect in turn. Yes. Um, what I noticed is as follows. If you recall back from the end of uh, 2015 to 2016, we had been in a procrastinated multi-year correction, which terminated at a low of about 1050 in December and then January of last year. From there, it went to a new high that we haven't seen. So we did get a higher high last year at about 1380. And then in about August of last year, till about December 15th of this year, we saw the market fall. Now, what I'm suggesting is that in a bullish model and the way that I perceive and am charting the market currently, I do expect uh, the lows that we have seen at the end of last year and the beginning of this year uh, to possibly be some lows that are sustained and moving to higher ground from there. Okay, so that said, Gary, what are some key levels uh, that you're eyeing now? Well, right now, in terms of uh, the support levels, of course, I truly believe that the 11, the 1123 we got is going to be our low for the year. The next level in terms of support comes in at a 61% retracement, and that's uh, 1172. Now, on the upside, our current targets go uh, 1210 and then 1250, or excuse me, uh, 13 and then um, 1350. Right. So... Is it on track for a good year thus far then, Gary, if history was repeating Can itself? We, like, of course, it's really hard to have parallels. We had so many, you know, uh, surprise moments last year in the gold market, Brexit, you know, Trump. Yeah, certainly. Let me let me correct myself. First of all, I, it's 1250 is, is the target that I'm reaching okay. up to about 1300. Uh, the markets tend to move so fast. Sometimes I lose track of those 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 hash marks. I hear you. But I, I do believe that there's a lot of uncertainty right now and that uncertainty could certainly lead to volatility. And as we don't know what policies will be implemented by President-elect Trump, we've got a, a lot of wild cards out there that really could cause the markets uh, to increase in volatility as well as take off. Gary, thanks so much for your thoughts today. My pleasure. My pleasure as always. And thanks for watching today's edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll be back tomorrow.